The Robust Robotics Group, under the leadership of Professors Nick Roy and Seth Teller at the MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, is developing a voice-commandable autonomous wheelchair. This video shows a research prototype under development since 2005. The long-term goals of the project are to develop intelligent assistive technology that can work with a variety of people, and the wheelchair is one example of this kind of technology. Our target population consists of people who have limited physical mobility and limited physical control. By adding a voice commandable interface and intelligent autonomy to a person's wheelchair, the chair can then be used by people who may not have the necessary level of physical ability to control the wheelchair using a standard interface such as a joystick. We are developing a range of capabilities, from simply augmenting existing wheelchairs to developing a fully autonomous powered wheelchair. We are collaborating with the Boston Home, a specialized care residence for adults with progressive neurological diseases. In working with TBH, we plan to develop wheelchairs that can be used by more TBH residents without assistance from a caregiver, increasing the independence and quality of life of the residents. Our prototype is a commodity-powered wheelchair, but we have added a number of components, such as a low-power laser range scanner to detect obstacles and provide fine-grained position tracking for autonomous control. We have added a microphone to listen to the wheelchair user and speakers to respond using speech. On this wheelchair, we have added a computer for sensor processing and intelligent decision making. When the wheelchair does not need to provide fully autonomous navigation and control, we can deploy a small PDA tablet instead of a full sensor suite and computer. The smaller tablet can easily be added to existing wheelchairs but still allows us to provide voice interaction so that the wheelchair can give information to its user, for example, about daily activities. The tablet also provides Wi-Fi connectivity that allows it to estimate the wheelchair position at a room level and send the estimated position to caregivers, so that the nurses can more easily stay aware of the wheelchair user's health and needs. The onboard computer or tablet can process speech and respond via speech to user queries. In the future, we plan to use the tablet as an alternate way to interact with wheelchair users for populations who have difficulty with speech. For full autonomous navigation and control, the wheelchair can use a laser range scanner to detect obstacles and estimate its position in the map. This Hokoyu laser range scanner sends out a plane of infrared light which it uses to measure the distance to obstacles around it. By comparing the positions of obstacles around the wheelchair to the positions of obstacles in a map, the wheelchair can estimate its position in a map as it moves around. The wheelchair can use the same laser sensor to explore new environments and build new maps. Even if an object is not in the map, the sensor allows the wheelchair to detect the new obstacle and replan around it. The technologies for autonomous navigation and control are not new, although they have not been widely deployed on autonomous wheelchairs. Our project has a number of innovative aspects that are designed to make autonomous navigation and control more easily deployed and adopted by the general public. For example, we are building on well-known robot mapping algorithms that can learn the floor plan of environments, and developing algorithms that allow a wheelchair to learn new environments and build maps from a narrated guided tour. The wheelchair can take instructions from a human caregiver to learn the names of places in the map. This natural language understanding will make it much easier for caregivers to deploy the wheelchair in new environments, and make it easier for users to use the wheelchair. Once the chair understands the user's desired destination, it navigates a route through the previously learned map to that intended destination. Go down the hallway, past a door, and along a railing until you get to the refrigerator in the kitchen on your right. We are also developing algorithms that will allow the robot to be guided through unfamiliar environments. For example, the robot can follow simple spoken directions to an unlabeled location in the map by reasoning about how people use everyday objects as landmarks for navigation. For a user with difficulty communicating, the chair can learn the user's behavior and mobility patterns over time in order to improve ease of use. For example, when the user has a daily routine, the chair can anticipate the user's desired destinations and plan routes there proactively, reducing the user burden of fully specifying each destination. As we add more wheelchairs with knowledge of where they are, we can give residents of the Boston home the ability to find each other. The Intelligent Wheelchair Project